So I just had to take you out one more time on the lake. And I mean, it really is getting sketchy. It's so nice and warm today. Look how the, the shoreline is already open. And I mean, just to see and hear this when you walk. I hope you could see it. I had to put the camera down. <laughs> and on the surface, can you see my steps here? Just wait a minute. Here we go. I mean, I just step in there and it's all just flush on top. But it is just gorgeous. I love it. But there are spots right now where even I'm not too comfortable with anymore. But there is one thing I think you should just see because it's amazing. And I not only mean things like these when something drops in on top, like this cone, and then just gets frozen in. And actually because of, I don't know if it's, uh, it, if it just keeps warmth or anything better, but underneath things just always thaw quicker. And these little items are always just floating around in little puddles of water afterwards when it starts to thaw. Yeah, so this is my stretch of the world. The little lake we're on. It, looks, it really looks bigger on camera. It's not that big, but it's good enough for us. Exactly what we're looking for. And yeah, here again, everything just open water here. But what I wanted to show you is something I personally haven't experienced yet. I mean, there are always these spots on the lake that for some reason, just like this one here, they, these, these dark spots, and they just thaw first. But I've never seen anything like this here. I was wondering when I was walking down, I thought, what the heck is this? Because here where I'm standing right now, um, there is quite a nice ice buildup and it's quite really solid. I saw this hole. And you can see the lake, everything looks nice and frozen. And then you see this dark hole. And so I just leaned down and look at that, all water on top. So this is already just thawed, but you can even see the ice because there's a hole in there. Let me start there. It's a hole. I can really grab through and the ice itself is still like, well, 10 centimeters or something like that. So it's a hole that you would maybe drill when you do ice fishing, but we don't do that. We haven't drilled any holes on the lake. It's just, I don't have a clue how it could happen because there are no trees over or branches hanging over um, where something could drip down constantly. So right here, right now, I can just grab down <laughs> and this is all still solid ice here. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, always something new you learn and see when you're out here. So I hope you enjoyed that this as much as I did. I wish you a wonderful day. Stay safe and I will be heading home now. Take care.